Welcome to the Colt Moo Liquor Show! Tonight we are doing the Clear Creek Distillery Kirschwasser. Kirsch, Kirsch, I don't know, it's brandy distilled from Mash of Pure Oregon in Washington Cherries. And it comes in at a whopping 40% ABV. So, uh, we recently went to uh, the liquor store and picked up a couple of these brandies. It's basically like a schnapps, you know, a real schnapps, not like American schnapps. <laughs> like uh, the keeper. Where it's all fruit. All, it's mash made of fruit, and that's what they make the alcohol out of. Uh, we got two, a blueberry and the cherry. The reason we're doing the cherry today is because the blueberry was the good one. <laughs> and we drank it all. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's try this one out <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> Never had this one. No, this will be a purely uh, a new review. Oh shit! I pour too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Damn it. Yeah, let's get a little, <laughs> a little sniff here. Woo! You know, it's it almost reminds me of a tequila smell. Like, you know what? You're right. It, it's you're right. It does. You can sort of tell, I mean, this might only be something you can tell because you're told it's cherry, but I can actually, I feel like I can smell a little bit of cherry inside of there. Well, I kind of almost think that's what's giving it the tequila. Yeah, but I, I mean, even the blueberry one had sort of that alcohol yeah, funk to it. that's true. Uh, it smells not unpleasant necessarily, <laughs> but a little scary. Yeah, the, to me it just smells like if you have too much of it, you're going to have a bad night. Yeah. This one warns you right from the get-go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a fear it might taste like nail polish remover. <coughs> but, you know, after you taste it, in moderation, <laughs> and if you're not a vagina, <laughs> uh, it actually... It's not. Uh, it's not bad. Um, if you like brandy, it's it. It's definitely not going to confuse you into thinking it's vodka, which is great. No. Uh, it ha does have a strong burn to it. it it'll warm yeah, the it cockles. Warms, yeah, up <laughs> really well. I do get a little hint of a cherry flavor on the back end of it. You can tell there's fruit, definitely. Yeah. You might be hard pressed to guess what kind of fruit that is if you're doing a blind tasting, but knowing there's cherry, you can pick it out. Yeah, uh, so looking forward to doing a second shot. <laughs> Let's go for a second opinion. Just a taste. Yeah, I'm gonna know. Just a taste. Any time you got this time. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely warms you up. Yeah, it's pretty instant when you when you feel it. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite as burny when you do a smaller shot like that, but... Mm -hmm. You just gotta be prepared for it. No yeah. you're getting yourself into. I think after about the fourth one, you wouldn't even realize that you're doing a shot of it. Yeah, this is one of those things where you got, like, one of those really tall, like, skinny, fancy glasses that they they, they drink these out of, where you yeah. take a little sip. Yeah. Uh, gen you know, generally, I don't think this is the kind of thing that you make cocktails out of. But, you know what, this is the liquor show, so we're going to do it anyway. Uh, where are we going to do it? Tonight we're going to make the Colt Moo Even Harder Cherry Cider. Take some of this here, Christian Schmasher Washer. This washer, this washer. A generous one part. And top it off to your liking with some of the Cherry Cider. There you have it. The Colt Moo Even Harder Cherry Cider. Here we are with our Even Harder Cherry Cider. Yeah. Uh, pretty simple as you saw. <laughs> you take cherry cider and you make it harder. <laughs> you can smell it in there, that's for sure. That was a heaping yeah. tablespoon. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. A little scary. Hopefully, you know, the ice. Yeah, and dilute it a little bit. A little, and... a little bit, a little bit of that cider, you know, and then The cider was delicious. The cider's really good. It's a, uh, what, what cider is it? It's a Washington Gold Cherry Cider. Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's interesting that way. Ooh, interesting. It, it's almost meaty. 
Not mead e, but meat. Yeah. <laughs> like it, like a. It almost gives it more of a smoke. Yeah, of. yeah. It, it reminds me almost of like a, like the wines I really like, the really dark, dry, like. Almost the wines that taste like steak or tire. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That transformed that. The uh... it transformed it way more than I thought it would. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, yeah, the, all the extra uh, liquid in there is knocking down the harsh burn. But the flavors that are inside of that brandy are coming through and sort of changing things. That That's actually pretty fucking excellent. Yeah, that, I would, I'd order this at a bar if they had it. I could see, yeah, you drink a lot of these. It'd be kind of like a vodka cranberry, only kicked up a little bit. Mm-hmm, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. God sure. damn. We're fucking geniuses. Yeah. Who knew? Lazy, lazy Who geniuses. Two, two things. All you put is two things in here, and it completely changes the flavor profile, even though they're both fucking cherry. Crazy. Well, we're in good buzz. <clears throat> you done good this episode. Thank you, sir. Three years of sheer laziness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, share. Why not? This has been the Cold Moon Liquor Show. Thank you for watching. Get turned. You can get turned on this. God damn.